Hello everyone. This is Nitish Gupta from Edureka and this session is dedicated to advanced tableau charts. In this video we'll explore beyond the show me option of tableau. So our topic for today's tutorial will be bump charts. So let's dive straight into it. Let's say you own a company that makes office supplies and your products are sold across different regions. Now you are coming up with some new strategy to boost sales in the regions with the lowest sales. So after framing the strategy the next step will be to determine the rank of your regions based on sales. Now how will you determine how your regions are performing like which region performed the best or conversely which one did the worst in terms of sales. So my friends this is where bump charts come into play. Let's see how a bump chart looks like. So this is our bump chart. So when we hover over the graph you can see that it is showing us the sales across different regions. Here in this graph the different colors represent different regions whereas the y axis shows us the rank. So let's say for the month of April the rank one went to the west region. With 41,000 sales. Similarly, rank 2 went to east, rank 3 went to south, and rank 4 to the central. So, the user who is looking at this graph can see the rank of the different regions based on sales across different years at a single glance. Now, before learning how to create a bump chart, let's understand what are bump charts. So, bump charts are very much like line charts, but instead of graphing some measure on the y axis, such as segment or category, they show us the rank. So, when a line crosses another line, that is indicative of a rank change. Pretty simple, right? So a bump chart shows us the change in rank over time and it can easily convey the rank throughout the entire interval of the given time dimension or some other dimension which is relevant to your analysis. And these types of charts are more useful when comparing data over a period. Now that we have discussed the use case of bump chart, let us quickly see how to create them in Tableau. So to create the bump chart, we'll first drag order date to the column shelf. And from the drop down menu, select the month. Now I want to plot my regions on the basis of their sales rank. So we'll create a calculated field for this and name the field rank and type rank unique sum of sales. Now let's drag this rank pill to the row shelf. You will see that Tableau gives us a single line chart, but we want it across different regions. So we can simply drag region to the colors card. And then from the drop down menu of the rank pill, select compute using and select region. Now that we have got a bump chart, let's add ranks into it to make it more readable. So to add ranks into it, we'll select the rank pill and duplicate it and rename the duplicated pill to rank display. Then we'll change the data type to string. Now this rank display pill over here will help us in showing the rank in a bump chart. Now copy the rank pill into the row shelf and make it a dual axis graph. Always make sure to synchronize your axis after making a dual axis chart. So that we have got uniform values on both the axes. So now we have got two line charts over here. So we'll go ahead and make one of the chart as a circle chart. Now we will be representing the ranks inside these circles. So let's drag the rank display pill to the labels card of the circle chart. Now let's make this chart more attractive. We can remove the extra header from here, select entire view, and then edit the labels. Let's make them bigger and give them a white color and make sure to align them. In the center. So now that we have placed labels inside a bump chart, we can see that we have got values ranging from 1 to 12, but we only have four regions with us that are central, east, south, and west. So to make this right, simply go to the drop down menu of rank display pill and under compute using select region. So now we have only four ranks that are being shown in this chart, but still my rank 1 is at the bottom of my chart, whereas rank 4 at the top. So to make this correct, simply right click on the axis. Go to edit axis and under the scale option select reversed. So this is how we create a bump chart in Tableau. Now that we have a required visualization in our hands, let's discuss one of the flaw which is present in it. So with this data set showing the rank alone can be a bit deceptive. This chart gives you the feeling that the difference between sales across different region is pretty much the same since the line width and the distance between them are exactly the same, but this is clearly not the case. Let me show you why. Let's go ahead and hover over the month of July. You can see that the rank 1 sales is $64,000. Rank 2 sales is $37,000. And rank 3 sales is $32,000. So the difference between rank 1 and rank 2 is $30,000. Whereas rank 2 and rank 3 is only $5,000. But the people who will only look at this visualization will not be able to tell this major difference. So now one may arrive at a question. When to use bump charts? So there is a very simple answer to it. I think it comes down to your primary objective. Are you more interested in communicating the changing ranks amongst your dimensions 
or in showing the actual magnitude of each dimension and how they relate to each other. So if rank is the only thing of importance, then definitely use a bump chart. Nothing better than it. But if the actual and relative magnitudes are more important, then one would be better off with another type of visualization such as a simple area chart. So with this trick we have reached the end of the session. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more advanced charts like donut sunburst motion and many more in the upcoming videos. You can even let us know about your ideas or any help that you require regarding any tableau charts by writing them in the comment section below and we will try to incorporate them in our videos. Any doubts and queries regarding tableau are welcome in the comment section. Thank you all for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!